Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 3rd of 2022. Well, it is titled embraced by sunlight. So what do we see here? Well, these are two separate images taken on January the 29th. And we see two different objects here. On the left hand side is the planet Venus and on the right hand side is our moon. Now they're both illuminated and we're in about the same relative position to the sun so that there are about 12% of the surface was being illuminated of that illuminated surface could be seen by Earth. Now, uh, the difference would be that they were at quite different sizes. So while they've been enlarged here to make them look similar in size, in reality, the moon would have been 30 times larger, not because it's larger than Venus, but because it is so much closer to us and appears larger. So the image of Venus on the left would have been about 1 the size of the moon if they were done to appropriate scale. But at that point, they were both 12% uh, illumination. Now they both go through cycles of phases at different rates. The moon, of course, does in one month, which is where we get our month from. It takes about 29 and one half days for the moon to go through its cycle of phases. Venus, on the other hand, has a much longer period of 584 days where it takes to go through uh, its entire cycle. So that's because of it orbiting the sun along with Earth and until they get back to the same relative positions to each other takes in this case almost two years. Now the phases of Venus are something very important. We've known about lunar phases for a long time. The phases of Venus were first noted by Galileo back in the 1600s. And this was seen as a piece of evidence that Venus had to be orbiting our sun and could not be orbiting Earth because in the models where Earth was at the center, Venus could be seen as a crescent as we see it today. But the fact that it could be also seen in a full phase was not something that the model with the Earth at the center, what we call the geocentric model, could explain. So it meant that at least Venus and therefore likely other planets including Earth had to be orbiting the sun but it was the first piece of evidence that something must orbit our sun. So the fact that Galileo could see the complete cycle of phases there was one of those earliest pieces of evidence as we made that transition from considering the Earth to be the center of the solar system to the sun being the center of the solar system. So here we get to see both of those objects Venus on the left moon on the right both at roughly the same level of illumination uh, taken just a few days ago. So that was our picture of the day for February 3rd of 2022. It was titled Embraced by Sunlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.